How's it going everybody? I was gonna go ahead and uh, wash my bikes down and clean the chains and everything like that, get them ready for winter before the snow this weekend. And then it just occurred to me that I remembered a comment I got a while ago. Somebody asked me which bike is my favorite, the VFR or the Honda CBR 600RR. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about some of the differences and pros and cons to each, and finally, which one's my favorite out of these two bikes. So let's start with the new contender in my garage. I've had the CBR for two years, three years now. VFR I've had for not even a whole year yet. So we'll start with this bike. So first off the looks, I love the silver. I specifically sought out a silver VFR 800. My, this is a 2003 by the way. I love the silver because it's kind of a little bit, it blends in a little bit easier. The red's really loud and it brings attention on from police and everything like that. But the silver's a little bit more subtle. Uh, another thing too is if we come here and look, we have a single sided swing arm. Uh, we cannot say the same for the CBR over there. All right, it does have a sergeant seat on it and a solo cal. There's so many mods on the 600 that's almost not fair to compare the two, but they're both modified tastefully to my own liking. So I'm gonna judge them on how I've modified them. Um, the red fairings that I put on this look absolutely beautiful. The trippage or tripage uh, 1K mirrors look absolutely stunning. Um, carbon fiber accents throughout, Power Commander goodies, a Kropovich slip-on. I mean, it, it's just a really nice bike. Very beautiful, beautiful machine. So the first thing I want to talk about is the most different thing about these two bikes, and that is profile and weight. I mean, you can look. This is so much bigger than this. Like, that is so sleek and small, compact. This has a wider wheelbase. It, it's wider to the sides, and it's higher up, and it also weighs about 130 pounds more. There is a huge distinction between working with these two bikes. You instantly notice the difference in weight. The 600 is much more flickable, um, but you know what? It's funny, there's a lot of misconceptions about weight too. Now, quickly, I just wanna say that the 600's weight is a beautiful thing because when I'm pulling to the garage over there, I can easily maneuver it around, get it to where I want it to get it. I can put on the kickstand. I can swerve it around very easily. Uh, the, the 800, I can't do that. Kickstand isn't really designed for that. It weighs so much, it is a pain to move this thing in and out of the garage. I like to consider myself decent shape and everything like that. I have a good amount of strength, but I mean, you notice it. I mean, I'm 25 years old and I notice the weight moving this thing around and it, it is kind of annoying to deal with. I want to say this, when you're moving, you're on the road, you're doing 20, 30 miles an hour, no difference. I mean, well, it is different. That flicks over easier side to side. This, the weight disappears on this, so it's very nimble. It has, it, it's honestly perfect, because when you're on the highway, this thing is so stable. It's like a couch just going along the highway. This, it's also pretty stable on the highway. It does have a steering damper, so that, that does help. But you notice it's not, you know, it, it's not quite as smooth as this on the highway. So I do remember one good comment I got before, and somebody asked, can you please compare the maintenance and working on either of these bikes, like which is easier, and let's do the most basic maintenance thing ever, which is a chain cleaning. Well, the VFR has this, which is a center stand, which will pick the bike up and the rear wheel will be up in the air. The uh, CBR has, um, well, it has nothing. So in order to clean the chain, for the VFR, I put this down, get the chain cleaning, start doing it. For the CBR, I have to pull out a uh, pit bull stand, put it up on the stand, then clean it. So that's a little bit more of a hassle, not a big deal. I don't mind it. Hardly worth really even mentioning, but I have to mention it. That's maintenance. That's the most common maintenance you're going to do. I clean my chains probably six times a year. Next is oil changes. Oil changes on this bike require you to remove the belly pan, which is right here and there's the oil filters right behind the headers. I do have aftermarket headers, so it's a lot harder to do an oil change on this than the stock bike, but it's still not too bad. And of course, you just fill up the oil right here and you have a drain plug down there. It's pretty easy, I would say. The VFR, it could be easy, it could be easy, but in order to do it, you have to remove this whole entire side fairing, and it's just a little bit of a pain. So. In terms of oil changes, I'd have to give the nod to the 600. Also the valves, the uh, VTEC valves are an absolute pain in the butt on this compared to the 600, much easier. So next is air cleaners, because that's something you guys would probably have to do. The VFR gets this, no questions. VFR wins this, 
no questions at all. In order to do the air cleaner, there's two eight millimeter bolts right here. Take them off, take the seat off, which is just, you put the key in and it lifts right up. You tilt the tank up and then there's the air box right there. You just remove some screws and boom, you're at the air box. The CBR, <laughs> oh man, you gotta pop the bottom fairing off, the side fairings off, the tank fairing off, this, that, um, then that all comes off, then you have the other tank and then you got the air filter right there. Next up, uh, this really isn't maintenance, but this is kind of modifications and everything like that. The power commander. Power command on the VFR, 20 minutes. The CBR, again, the fairings. You gotta remove all the fairings, and then you get to the power commander stuff. So for power commanders and modifications like that, the VFR gets the nod. Now let's talk about reliability. Now reliability, they're both Hondas. This is an 03. So you got to keep that in mind. This is no wait. That five-year advantage it automatically gets. However, VFR has two recalls, a wiring harness recall, and something with the brakes. The CBR has no recalls. Zero. Zip, nada, goose egg. The VFR, plagued with problems with cam chain tensioners. Thank you, Honda, for getting rid of the gear-driven cams. I mean, obviously I'm being sarcastic here, but if you kept the gear-driven cams, that wouldn't be an issue. But anyway, Cam chain tensioners go at around 30,000 miles, so I'm probably going to deal with that sometime this year. The wiring harness, the most common issue with this, the wiring, the stator, rectifier, all that crap. I wired in a VF harness into my bike. I have a video if you want to check that out. It's on my channel. That is pretty easy to do, and it makes it a lot more reliable. But still, the fact that I have to go through that headache is kind of annoying. So the CBR definitely gets the nod in terms of reliability, and I would say it's not even close. I mean, this bike has given me literally, both of them give me zero issues, but this one I've had longer. I put more miles on it, zero issues. And I understand the VFR will eventually give me some issues. I also want to talk some more about the, uh, the looks. The CBR has upside down forks, looks very handsome, very nice. VFR, uh, eh, well, standard forks. Um, the CBR, it has two headlights, the VFR two headlights. The VFR is taller, it's hard to see from this angle, but it is taller, it's higher, wider, it has more of a footprint, the CBR is more sleeker, I mean, if we look from this view, I mean, the CBR just, man, she just has that awesome sport bike view versus the VFR, which, she, it, it's a sport bike, it's a sport bike, I don't care what anybody says, this is a sport bike, but it doesn't have that same profile as the CBR. From the back, just to kind of look. The VFR has, I have Delkovic exhaust on it. We have the two twin pipes right there coming up the side. The CBR, we have just the one. Um, in terms of tails, CBR gets the nod again. I just think that whole thing just looks so much better. This still looks good, but it's a little too bulky for my taste. It does fit the bike though. It would look odd if it was thin like the CBR. All right, so this brings us to our next section. We're gonna talk about features that these bikes have. The VFR has linked brakes, it has a single-sided swing arm, it has a hydraulic clutch, it has variable valve timing, VTEC, yo. It has um, a V4 engine. Uh, it's just, it's pretty well optioned out. I mean, it, it doesn't have stock heated grips or anything. I did add those myself. It doesn't have cruise control. It is a 2003. The CBR, it has a cable clutch. It does not have a single-sided swing arm. It has an inline four engine. It has no variable valve time, which I actually think that's a good thing. But I would say that the VFR just, it out options the CBR. It just, it has probably some more stuff. Now, what's it like to ride both of these bikes? The 600 is very light. The power, it doesn't really have much down low grunt, but up top it pulls and it pulls so hard and so fast. And I mean, it, it just, it's so fun to rev this thing out. Just so much fun, so satisfying. The VFR has tons more down low grunt. It definitely could benefit from a power commander and tuning and all that stuff because in stock form, it's definitely choppy and not smooth, but it has torque. It has torque, it has power. Both of these can power wheelie pretty easily. You do have to chop the throttle though. And considering this has an extra 100 pounds of weight, I gotta give it up to Honda. This engine is pretty powerful. It, it does a very good job. The torque is there, everything is there. It, it's a fun bike to ride. They're both fun bikes to ride. This is more of a daily bike. This is more of a Canyon Carver bike. That's just the way it is. I mean, I mean it's kind of hard to compare a sport touring to a sport bike and 
not say the sport touring is more comfortable and it's better for canyon or it's better for touring and commuting and the cbr or the sport bike is better for having fun and going fast i mean they're built for two different things so you kind of it's kind of we are comparing apples to oranges here i will say that so now it comes down to which of these bikes i like better now i've owned my cbr for three years now been a beautiful bike very reliable i mean it had a couple issues but i caused those issues it's never given me any issues on its own vfr i've had for six months now seven months now eight months now something like that give me no issues but i know it will in the future um but i did do some preventative maintenance for that and i have gone seven thousand miles on that and i've done 14 15 000 miles on that so miles this is a mile leader this thing will just do miles no problem this thing i mean this does miles no problem either but you know it's still a sport bike even with the heli bars it you know you get tired so which bike do i like better uh well all things equal value money everything i would have to say i like my 600 better and now it's kind of an unfair competition because the 600 is five years newer and it has a lot of sentimental value to me. Uh, my 600, it just has a special place in my heart that really no other bike could possibly take. Um, so it's a little unfair to the, uh, the VFR, but I will say this about the VFR. The VFR, like if we change the competition, a 2015 CBR 600RR versus a 2015 VFR 800, I would go with the VFR 800. The new ones do look a lot better than the old ones and they have a lot of benefits. But even if we downplayed this, what if we said an 03 600, not mine, but another one, and an 03 VFR 800, I would go with the VFR 800. Between my two bikes, my 600 is my favorite. That's my garage queen. She's, she's my girl. My VFR though, like all things equal, same year, same everything, not this bike, but a different bike. And the VFR would win out. It would win out every time. It just, it's comfortable. I can ride it all day long. It has torque down low. It sounds amazing. It's a beautiful bike in its own regard. And I think we should all uh, listen to it. But first, let's start up the 600 because she's the quieter one. <laughs> so we're going to just start it up. Both of these bikes have not been started in weeks. So let's see what happens. <laughs> let her idle for a minute yeah we're gonna stand back here so we can talk but look at that beautiful LED lights gorgeous and yes the turn signals are integrated into the mirrors just a gorgeous bike absolutely beautiful stunning it looks so much better in real life I'm looking at the camera and I'm looking at the bike in real life in real life a hundred times better um, it just does no justice to the camera and this is a good camera too but yeah, look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bike. Can't get over how beautiful this thing is. While she's warming up though, we will start the VFR 800. Now, just like when I was talking to you guys about the looks and I said the VFR it, it pales in comparison to the 600. The 600, the CBR, she just looks so much better than the VFR 800. They're both beautiful bikes, but the 600, it's just, it's better looking. Um, it's completely opposite with the sounds, though. The VFR sounds a million times better than the CBR. It's just how it is. It sounds a whole lot better. Let's see what this sounds like. I think the 600 still sounds nice. It's not a bad sounding bike, it really isn't. And that It does have a full exhaust, it has arrow headers, a Kropovich uh, slip-on. So it does sound very crisp, I, I do love my 600 sound. But you can't compare an inline four to a V4, it's just, it's unfair, the V4 sounds so much better. So 
that's a lot quieter now. Um, they both sound great. I think they both sound great. Uh, they both look great. They both sound great. CBR looks better. VFR sounds better. It's just how it is. Um, they are both amazing bikes. CBR is my girl, though. She's my main girl. She'll always be my main girl. The VFR is a beautiful bike, though, and has never disappointed me, and I love that I bought it. Both of these bikes were just amazing purchases, and there's going to be more videos with both of them in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like. If you have any questions, ask them. I will answer. I will try my best to answer. I mean, if I get too many questions and I get overwhelmed, I mean, I might not answer them all, but I'm sure somebody else could. I'll try my best, though, and I'll answer as many as I can. Um, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. I make videos all the time. I love bikes. I don't just make bikes about... I don't make videos just about these. I make videos about everything. I love bikes. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Time to clean these chains, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.